Welcome back. We're here with the great Clive Russell. And uh, how are you finding uh, Comic Con today, Clive Russell? Very, very relaxed. We're, we're, it's very nice to be in a place where you're sitting near the light and you can see the river and it's bright and open and airy. Normally, Comic Cons take place in dark rooms, not dark rooms, rooms without natural light and millions of people mobbing around you. But yeah. This is quite delicate. Civilized. Yeah. Civilized, yeah, that's a good word. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. So I wanted to talk to you a bit about Still Game coming to its end. Um, you obviously played a fantastic part in Still Game as Big Ennis came to sort the town rats out. Uh, do you think Big Ennis might make an appearance in the last episode? I'd very much hope so, but I, I think I would know by now. Yeah. <laughs> I, think oh, right. I think they've already started the last series, or they're about to. I saw. Yeah. I saw the. Which is, uh, which is sad because oh. it's been a an iconic piece of Scottish work Absolutely. Of, of some brilliance, I'd have to say. Yeah, so, you know. I mean, it, the, the originality of it was just phenomenal. Uh, um, I mean, it, to take just a few characters from a sketch show and to be able to come up with, it was a nine series now? Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, it will be. Um, of consistently funny stuff is... Really uh, the thing I like about it, speaking as an older person, is that it's not like they're ripping the piss out of old people no. they're on their side they're it's still game they're real <laughs> they're, you recognise the people yeah, absolutely. yeah. Uh, every, like uh, Jack reminds me of my dad used to remind me of my granddad but my, my dad's kind of got to that and there's season. some brilliant stuff <laughs> where the, the, when they were sitting in the caravan they were talking about um, where, 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 which continents have you had sex on or something <laughs> like that a real guy's conversation and Jack goes into this thing with a woman he was clearly in love with and suddenly it's broken with a gag. Yes. It's just brilliant. You're yeah. almost on the point you're in a <laughs> Wednesday play. <laughs> that's right, and suddenly absolutely. Suddenly it goes the other way. It's wonderful. Totally no, caught off guard. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Um, so, yeah, the, the big Ennis episode. Do, do you take it that's... Do people shout that to you in the street and stuff? Well, it would be fair to say when I was in London, people would occasionally stop me in the street. It's London after all. And it might be somebody who saw me in a marvellous play at the Royal Court. Or, <laughs> oh, I liked you in this or I liked you in that. Up here... It's big in this. <laughs> That's, That's fantastic. That's it. Big Guinness. So I take it, Big Guinness got his drink in Maduria. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I think so. Yeah. We saw but, that. Which, by the way, maybe I shouldn't say this, is a disgusting drink. Oh, <laughs> I had this question was going to be do you like Maduria? No, I don't. At all. Do you know? Uh, there was a, uh, I live in a, a small village in Fife, and when I first went down there, there was a painter and decorator I knew, and he would always buy me a Maduria on a Friday night. <laughs> and I had to pretend I was drinking it with great pleasure, because it was a kind of honour, I think it was, anyway. And it was, it was pretty disgusting. You know, I actually tried Maduri because yeah. of that episode, and, and I liked it. Studi Maduri, I like Studi Maduri. The Studi Maduri. <laughs> You're being um, serious? Genuine, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Me, but Maduri don't and Lemonade. Don't be defensive. <laughs> Kevin's got terrible taste and everything. Clearly. <laughs> I, I love Still Game, I love Big Ennis. Um, but not Maduri, surely. Ah, well, Big Ennis was better. And then there's uh, Game of Thrones, obviously. Game of Thrones, yeah. Um, the Blackfish. How was that to work on? Well, I... I I think the truth of it is there are two Game of Thrones. There's the Game of Thrones when you're working on it, which is, which was working with largely British character actors I was familiar with, or indeed had worked with, with a largely Irish Scottish crew, a lot of whom I'd worked with. So you're kind of doing your work like normal. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's obviously better financed. Yeah. You're working in an environment where there are three huge movie crews working simultaneously around Europe to make it. Yeah. But actually, you're on set working with good guys. That's not that unusual get out in the real world and a, something called Game of Thrones hits you in the jaw. Yeah. You're part of something really yeah. quite extraordinary. Action figures, I was, I was, a, I was a latecomer to Game of Thrones. Um, I, only, I only started watching it um, last year. Wow. Last year and I don't know how I managed to avoid all the spoilers but I did. Uh, the Red, Red Wedding made me cry like a wee girl. Yeah. And, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was, it's a phenomenon. An absolute phenomenon. The, the weird thing is, I'll be in a pub and clearly somebody's said, you're that guy from Game of Thrones. And he said, yeah, and you shake hands, you talk about it. He disappears and all his pals come over and say, you're in Game of Thrones? I said, yeah. <laughs> do, do you like it? So Never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact that, right. that that's the power of the thing. Yes. Yeah. Like, he's in Game of he's in, I, I don't know what the equivalent is. There isn't a television equivalent. They like being in a movie. Or yeah. Star like a movie. Wars, maybe. Star yeah. Wars, yes. Yeah. Star Wars. Doctor Who, maybe. Yeah, it's something that's going to be timeless. Yeah. People will still be watching it in 10, 20 years yeah, and they're introducing it to I their kids. It's, it's powerful. And uh, I was going to ask, what 
other than the scenes you've been in, what was one of your favourite parts that really stood out to you in Game of Thrones? You know, drop my water there. <laughs> um, there, there are so many, and it, it, it's very clever the way they, the, like the Red Wedding, like Sean Bean getting his head cut off. The one from uh, Series 7 that struck me as being a, a chilling seminal moment when we realised that the, the guys from the north had a dragon's egg uh -huh. and it became a dragon. Yeah. So in other words, it's no, it's not just the good guys who have a nuclear bomb, the, yeah. the really bad guys. Yeah. yeah. And that absolutely. was a masterful storytelling, really. Yeah, absolutely. It just keeps you keeps you hooked from start to finish. So, um, yeah, it must have been great to be a part of that. It was. What do you think of the the fan theories? Do you read a lot of the fan theories about maybe the Blackfish character? You can't or? not be aware of it because yeah. anybody comes up to you and they want to know if I know what the the end yeah. of the thing is, which I obviously don't. And if I did, I wouldn't tell anybody. But it is interesting, and they really the truth of it is when you sit in front of a group of people like we just did doing answering questions. 40% of that audience know a hundred times more than we do yeah. about the characters, the books, whatever. The they, they have a, a passion for it. Absolutely. For us, it's work. You yeah. work. You're working, you do your work, you go and do something else, you do something else. It's, it's, it's a completely different thing. Would and that's have, weird. Would you have another career that you would like to do apart from this? Like if you could go back and do something else, do you have something in mind? I'd like to be a touring golf professional. Oh, you're not good. What am I going to say? Of course you are. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you're, if you're, you're a golfer, a, by the way. If you're a good a golfer as you as an actor, you'll have no problem. <laughs> oh, it's sweetly said. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, no, that's, that's great. Um, thanks very much for giving us the time. Not at all. And, Absolutely. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Yourself, so we, and, and good luck, guys. Thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thanks, buddy. Thank you.